Earlier this month, UC Berkeley welcomed President Ellen Johnson Sirleaf of Liberia to its campus. President Sirleaf is Africa's first elected female head of state, and her efforts at rebuilding her country after a devastating decades-long civil war have been widely recognized by the international community. The president spoke of the challenges facing Liberia in this post-conflict period and delivered her keynote address to an eager crowd. Those of you who are old enough to remember the 1980s and have heard of a country called Liberia would know that in April 1980, soldiers staged a military coup in which the president was assassinated and most of the cabinet members were tied to poles and executed by firing squad on a beach. I was there. I was one of the four that was spared that fate. Since her election in 2006, President Sirleaf has made peace and stability her top priorities. Professor Eric Stover of the Human Rights Center here on campus spoke with us about the achievements of the president. What she was able to do was to work with all the various factions, to come to agreements, uh, to bring her capacity uh, that she had learned as an economist and working with and financial institutions and banks to the government to pull it together again. Despite the many challenges, the president is optimistic about the progress Liberia is making. When we turned on streetlights for the first time in 16 years, children who knew that lights only came from a lantern or a candle were amazed that they danced in the streets. And you can imagine what this meant to those who had been so deprived for so long. President Sirleaf directly addressed the Liberians in the audience, encouraging all of them to come home. Kali Pugh, whose family was forced to flee the violence of the Civil War, said someday he hopes to do just that. I am very optimistic. I think that she, is definitely, she has definitely done a great job of moving the country forward. And like my wife said, I'm looking forward to the day that we all can go back in in some ways contribute because it does rest on our shoulders to do something about Liberia as Liberians. Until that day, President Sirleaf's message continues to be one of great optimism and determination. We do have the ability, the capacity, the commitment, and the political will of a government to make sure that Liberia becomes what we all would like to see, a post-conflict success story. Reporting for Cal TV, I'm Sonia Fleury.